Hello and welcome for the first time or welcome back to Tala Talks NICU where we break down complicated medical concepts and make them really easy for you to understand. Today is another really quick video and we are just going to go over an example of a blood gas. So hopefully by watching this, you'll have kind of a better idea of how to interpret blood gases by yourselves. So you have a patient who's just a feeder grower in the NICU. He's on room air and suddenly just starts having more A's and B's, occasionally having tachypnea, occasionally not really breathing at all and starts looking like this kind of grayish color. So you go ahead and get an arterial blood gas. And these are the results of the blood gas. A pH of 7.12, a CO2 of 29, oxygen of 25, a bicarb of 10, and the base is minus 12. So how do we analyze this? So the first thing that you're looking at is, is this baby acidotic or alkalotic? So the first thing that we look at is the pH. And the pH is 7.12, which as you all know, is significantly less than 7.4. So this baby definitely has acidosis. Now, what's causing the acidosis? So is it respiratory acidosis? So let's look at the PaCO2. That is 29. What's a normal PaCO2? About 40. So the fact that this is less than 40 means that this is actually respiratory alkalosis. So how come we have a pH of 7.12? How come we're acidotic if we have a respiratory alkalosis? Because the alkalosis is not the primary issue that's going on. Clearly, this baby must have something else going on and the body is trying to compensate with by creating a respiratory alkalosis. So let's confirm this. What do we look at? We look at the bicarb and the base. So the bicarb here is 10, it should be around 20. So the fact that we have much less bicarb than we should have, and as you all know, bicarb is alkali or a base. So if you have less of it, then therefore you do have an acidosis. And the base is a calculated number, which basically means if it's anything less than zero, then it suggests an acidosis because what it's actually telling you is how much bicarb you have to add to make it neutral. So the combination of the low bicarb and the low base means that you have a metabolic acidosis. Right, let's put all of that together. So what do we have here? We have an acidosis, which is a primary metabolic acidosis. And we know that this is primary because we've ended up being actually acidotic here. And then we have a compensatory, we assume, respiratory alkalosis. So here, because the CO2 is less than 40, we have an alkalosis. So what is the body trying to do? The body is seeing that the blood is becoming more acidotic. So in a desperate attempt to bring the pH back to 7.4, the baby is compensating with respiratory alkalosis. So what's the baby doing? Probably breathing a lot faster to try to blow off that CO2. We know it's not a primary respiratory alkalosis, so that isn't actually what's triggering it. The baby isn't just suddenly breathing faster and is trying to compensate with the base, because if this were primary, then the baby would be alkalotic. The other thing that you have to understand is that a compensatory respiratory alkalosis can happen immediately. So it's not like with a compensatory metabolic alkalosis. So for example, say the baby suddenly has an increased CO2. They've got a lot of secretions or something in their endotracheal tube. The bicarb isn't suddenly going to go up to try to compensate for that. The CO2 has to be elevated for a long time for the kidneys to kind of start retaining all their bicarb. It's very different with a metabolic acidosis. Almost immediately, the baby can just start breathing a lot faster to try to get rid of that carbon dioxide. And we see this a lot. For example, a baby born with HIE, and this could be kind of like a typical picture of a baby born with HIE, where you do have the metabolic acidosis. Very often, once those babies do start breathing, they start breathing really rapidly to try to blow off their carbon dioxide. If this baby's hanging out in the unit, then the thing that I would be most worried about is this baby is septic, and that's what's causing the metabolic acidosis. So to reiterate one more time, we have an acidosis, which is a primary metabolic acidosis, and it's a partially compensated respiratory alkalosis. Well, I hope that helped. Let us know below if you're interested in more of these. 
In the meantime, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and like this video. And also if you do comment, please let us know where you are working or writing in from. We love finding out where in the world all our viewers are. Thank you so much.